CCTV shows the moment that Brandon Jarrett wielded a samurai sword at a shopkeeper in Leeds. This was part of a series of robberies that took place across December in 2021. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm trying to do. Open it, or I'm going to hit you with it. Open it, or I'm going to hit you with it. Believe me now. Yeah. Just give it a minute. Just give it a minute. What, what you got? I'm not tell doing us, anything. Tell us. Tell us. Tell us. Open it. I'm not doing anything. Open I'm it. not doing Open anything. It. Get away from that, you. Open Get away from that bottle now. Gino. Get away from it. Listen. Press that one more time. Don't go near the f. Here, yeah, grab them. There you go, yeah, there we go. There you go. Stay there, mate. Stay there. No one's gonna get hurt. Just make it quick and leave. No one's gonna get hurt. Just stay there. I'm feeling really nervous and I'm gonna start picking stay up. There. It's good. Yeah, mate. It's only gonna be hurt. Get stay there. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah, I'm not even with that life. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Stop chopping. No, 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 no. no. This is not good. I'm gonna go. Get him. 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 Thank you, God. Thank you, Jared. Thank you very much. Phone the police. Two men have been jailed this week for their involvement. Brandon Jarrett and also Jeffy Chikosa. He was jailed for nine years and Brandon was jailed for six. Even though Brandon was one that used a lot of intimidation and threats towards the shopkeepers. The pair were brought to justice after an investigation by Detective Constable Alan Andrews from the Leeds Serious Crime Team. He was able to recognise one of the robbers from the voice and the way that they walked. DC Andrews prides himself on trying to identify robbers that wear masks and to be able to use other methods to be able to convict them. At 6.20 on December the 13th, 2021, the men stormed into a shop in Scoutonwood. This was a post office. They climbed over the counter and threatened the frightened staff. They escaped in a stolen car with cigarettes and money from the till. The robbers struck again on the 23rd of December, two days before Christmas, and they targeted a Londy store on Weatherby Road in Leeds. The three of them stormed inside and there was only one woman behind the counter and they threatened her with a sword and made demands for cash and cigarettes. Brandon was later identified as the one that wielded the sword and threatened to chop her and also seriously injure her. A member of the public tried to get involved and tried to fight them off as well. And in the end, they actually ran out of the shop after he threw a crate of beer at them. What you also notice in the CCTV is the amount of money that was stolen. This was only about £200. In a third robbery at 6.45 on December the 29th, 2021, the gang struck at a co-op in Salby Road, Leeds. They were also wearing masks again and armed with swords. Jarrett stood guard at the entrance and Chikosha and a third unidentified male entered the store and emptied the tills and also stole cigarettes and tobacco. DC Andrews attended the scene minutes after they had fled and he viewed CCTV of the incident and recognised Chikosha from his walk. Further inquiries showed that Jarrett and Chikosha had ordered a taxi nearby just 10 minutes after the offence and the route showed them being dropped off at an address close to Chikosha's home. Jarrett wore a distinctive coat and the police recovered this from his family home following the arrest. DC Andrews recognised Chikosha's voice on CCTV audio at the Londy shop and this was later confirmed after a voice specialist expert compared it with a voice booking for the taxi. Inquiries around the first offence showed the pair returned to Chikosha's home straight after the incident and Jarrett booked a taxi to his bail hostel in Halifax to make it in time for his curfew. Police communications experts showed there was in regular contact leading up and after the offences. Jarrett pled guilty to several charges of robbery and Chikosha was convicted at Leeds Crown Court. Chikosha, 25 years old, was sentenced to nine years and Jarrett, 23 years old from Halifax, was sentenced to six years at Leeds Crown Court. The pair previously were jailed in May 2021 for their role in stealing cars using software to overcome their security systems. They were released in November 2021 with strict conditions and also told to not associate with each other. But the police involved in the case said they are prolific criminals and they are responsible for a series of robberies across Yorkshire.
So I really want to hear what people have to say on that story. And regular viewers of the channel will know that I covered the £130 million cannabis factory raids that took place last month. Police across the country worked together in a series of raids to seize up to 83,000 cannabis plants. And Yorkshire also took part in this. And they said that they've seized 5.3 million in cannabis in the past year alone in the area. Show yourselves immediately! Just watch the floor because it feels uneasy to me. Video footage shows the moment that police entered the cannabis factory and also how big it was and the extensive setup that they had going on. Police from the Yorkshire and Regional Organised Crime Unit were assisted by several other police forces in executing 138 warrants in their part of this operation. A total of 127 people were arrested for offences linked to the drug trade. Throughout June, Humberside, North Yorkshire, South Yorkshire and West Yorkshire police located and searched 138 cannabis factories and they disrupted the organised crime groups and also stopped their illegal revenue. Over 19,500 cannabis plants were seized and 26 kilos of harvested cannabis was also destroyed, as well as money, weapons and drugs. And this was part of Operation Millie, which is the national operation coordinated by the police. In the operation, all 43 police forces in England and Wales took part. So I thought this story was really interesting and I really want to hear what people have to say. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Follow on social media as well at Scar City Studios and check out the website at scarcitystudios.com for the latest updates. Peace.